Squares A Primer, template for playing in 2018. Super Bowl Squares, also known as Football Squares, have become a staple of Super Bowl parties everywhere, a cheap, easy way for guests to bet on the outcome of the game. So as this year's Super Bowl between the New England Patriots and Philadelphia Eagles approaches this week, it's time to get up to speed. Here's a primer on Super Bowl squares, how they work and which squares are most likely to pay off. The game starts with a 10 by 10 grid, or 100 individual boxes, each of which is assigned a universal price tag, like $1 per square. Before the Super Bowl kicks off, participants purchase individual boxes, generally as many as they wish, until all 100 of them are accounted for. The numbers 0 9 are then assigned to the columns and rows, usually at random, giving two numbers to each individual cell. From here, the game can be played a few different ways. Typically, one axis represents the last digit of the NFC team's score and the other represents the last digit of the AFC team's score. Whoever has the correct digits of the final score wins the pot, if the Eagles win 28-21, for example. The winning square would be where the number 8 on the NFC axis meets the number 1 on the AFC axis. One of the most popular variations on Super Bowl squares is to pay out 25% of the pot at the end of every quarter, rather than all of it at the end of the game. Or, in some cases, 20% at the end of the first and third quarters, and 30% at the end of each half. This makes it more likely that there will be multiple winners albeit with smaller shares of the pot. What are the best squares to have? The values on each axis are usually assigned at random, so you might not have a choice here. But if you do, your best bet will generally be some combination of zeros and or sevens. In a 2013 blog post, the Harvard Sports Analysis Collective wrote that the single best square to have is seven on the favorites axis. The Patriots are the favorites this year and zero on the underdogs, with the zero zero square a close second. The Washington Post lists zero zero as the best square to have, with the two combinations of seven and zero, seven zero or zero seven, right behind it. Three, four and one also aren't bad numbers to have from an odds standpoint. Any combination of twos or fives. According to the aforementioned Harvard Sports Analysis Collective Post from 2013, the 2-2 two two square and 2-5 two square, 2 on the favorites axis, 5 on the underdogs, are among the worst, because it usually takes some combination of safeties, missed extra points or other general strangeness to get there. Contact Tom Shad at cad at useitoday.com or on Twitter at Tom underscore Shad. Photos, one great shot from every Super Bowl.